Good morning and welcome to basic chart reading lesson number one. This course is going to be designed with the very beginner in mind so um, we're going to be looking at a lot of terms that may be unfamiliar to you. We're going to be looking at a lot of uh, charts over the next couple of weeks and the whole course is designed so that you can build upon your knowledge one step at a time. Now this very first lesson is going to be really super basic. It's just to show you what a basic chart looks like and how it functions. The very first thing you're going to see is up here is going to be your stock symbol. Then you're going to have the company name then which board it is listed on. This is listed on the NASDAQ. Now this chart is from stockcharts.com and up here we have the price label. This little guy right here. It's telling you what day of the week it is, what the date is, and what time it is when you open this chart. The next thing it's going to give you is the open, the high, the low, and what price the stock closed at the day before. So it closed at $14.16. It opened at $14.28. The low for the day is $14.28. And the high that it's traded at so far is $14.50. Now the bid size is going to show you what a person wants to pay for this stock. They want to pay $14.31. And the bid size is going to show you how much they want. They want 100. You always have to take this number and times it by 100. Then the ask size, that's a person who's selling the stock. This is what they want to pay. They want to get $14.31 for their stock. And then the size, of course, is going to be 2100. Okay. Now the price per earnings ratio, um, basically that tells you how effective a company is um, at managing their finances. The way that you use this number is you take the you take the price that the stock last traded at, which is right here at 1431, you divide this number into this number and it gives you the EPS, which is an earnings per share. So basically this stock is a very good pick if you were going to take this one for a long term investment. Now the last right here tells you what the last trade was and that was 200 shares and it traded at the 1431 price and then this over here okay the volume weighted average price which is the total number of shares that traded hands and the average of those shares so it would be about 1440 for the day right now. During the last trade, the price rose 1.06%. The change is actually 15 cents right now. And of course, our last trade is 1431. And the total number of shares that have traded hands today by 10 a.m. was 1,390,954. And that's your very basic definitions of all of these terms here. Each one can have an impact on your trade for the day. It's always a good idea to keep your eye on what's going on with your price labels and we will take a look now at the basic chart setup itself. When you first open up your stock chart you're going to see lots of little squiggly lines here and some strange lines here in the middle and then something called a MACD down at the bottom with more squiggly lines. Now I'm not going to go in to what each one of these indicators means just yet. I'm going to just explain this basic chart setup to you. The RSI, which is the Relative Strength Index, t 
tells us how powerful the stock is trading right now. When it crosses the 50 line, it's bullish, which means that people want to buy this stock. So this stock is looking good for the day. These right here are called candles. And this shows us during each trading day where the stock's price traded at, what it opened at, and what it closed at. And we'll get to that meaning a little bit later in the lessons as well. These two green lines here that surround the candles are called Bollinger Bands. And the line in the middle is the 20 day moving average for this particular setup. You can always change that, but for today we're going to go with the basic setup. We also have two bigger moving averages. Now a moving average is calculated from a certain period of time and for the 20 day moving average it's, it takes the price over 20 days and averages it out and that's what creates this line here in the middle. The 50 day moving average is this blue line right here and that again of course is the average price over a 50 day period and then the 200 day moving average which of course is the average of the price calculated over 200 days. This stock is obviously a well-established stock and has a well-established 200 day line. Now, all of these pretty little colors here, this is your volume and as you can see right here this is the volume for the very beginning of the trading day. And then this right here, the MACD, the moving average convergence and divergence. So what we want to know is out of our moving averages where are they converging and where they're diverging from. The first line, this black line right here, is going to be your main line. It's going to be the bullish indicator. The red line right here is going to be your bearish indicator and these little blue bars right here represent the divergence. And as you can see right here we have a crossover. This stock is just going in to a bullish crossover and once it crosses the divergence line this stock is really really going to take off. So, so that is your very basic setup of a chart and what kind of information you can get from it. And for our next lesson, we'll go deeper into looking at the indicators and how all of these different indicators and the information that's displayed on this page can make you a better trader. Okay, thank you. Have a wonderful day.